If you guys are looking to buy some cheap and reliable MT, head on over to AOLA.com and use code YBC at checkout for a discount. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's YBC and I am back. Bring another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys, in my opinion, the best cards that are worth evolving at this stage in the year in NBA 2K20, my team. Before we hop into the video and everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button because right now we are less than 200 subscribers away from hitting 90,000. So I'm going to achieve that 90k goal today if you guys are new to the channel. So it has been like a good month and a half since I have told you guys the best EVO cards that are worth evolving. And considering a few days ago 2K just gave us a brand new fresh batch of evolutions in my team, I feel like this video right here was the perfect video to bring out. So for those of you guys who are no money spent players or for those of you guys who like evolving cards in general and buying them and evolving them and selling them, or if you like upgrading your team with evolution cards, you guys have came right here to the right video because I'm going to be telling you guys the best player to evolve at every single position so so for those of you guys who are looking to upgrade your point guard position i have a point guard on this list center position i put centers on this list and so on and so forth guys every single position in my opinion i put the best player to evolve in, at this stage in a year in my team with that being said honestly there are a lot of evolution cards in my team that take way long to grind and are not worth the grind and also, guys, they're just simply outdated Evo cards. So for those of you guys who right now are, are evolving a card or looking or looking to evolve a card that is not in this video, and you guys are wondering if that card is outdated or not worth the grind, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section or DM me or at me on Twitter. My Twitter is YBC underscore 15. I do try my best to help you guys out and whatever my team question you guys do have, especially when it comes to these Evos right here, guys. I do pretty much know whether or not the Evo is worth it or not for that card. Now getting back on track to this video right here, when I did form the players for this list right here for every single position, I did base whether or not the evolution on them was worth it based off of the time it took to grind, the price that you can buy it for and sell back, and also the upgrades on the card. So with those three things all included together, that's what I felt like when forming this list. So with that being said, it's now time I feel like we hop into the official list. Starting off with the starting point guard position, I feel like the best point guard that is worth evolving is Rod Strickland. Taking a look right here at this Rod Strickland card, he first starts off as a pink diamond, and he's a one-star evolution card that turns into a galaxy full. Now taking a look at the evolution requirements, I'm not gonna lie, these evolution requirements are probably the easiest for any player who made this list. All you have to do right here is score 1,200 points with him, get 400 assists, and play 30 games in total. This right here is probably gonna take you around, I wanna say, five-ish hours to do. When it comes to the upgrades right here for this Ross Strickland card, once he's fully evolved, he gets upgraded a ton. Now, only when it comes to the attributes right here, as the attributes form are mid-range turn into 97, 3-point to 93, 98 ball handle, 95 lateral quickness maxed out, 75 driving dunk originally from a 40, 94 speed turn into a 97, 97 speed with ball as well, guys. Now, only when it comes to the attributes, like I mentioned, he gets upgraded. Also, the bash count as well. Take a look right here at the bash count. 2K does give him... 15 extra Hall of Fame badges in which some of the Hall of Fame badges right here you guys can see are corner specialist dimer pickpocket Hall of Fame clamps interceptor intimidator tireless defender Hall of Fame reigning center Hall of Fame floor general he does come with a lot of important Hall of Fame badges and also the, for the gold badge right here guys he also does get upgraded for those as well gold D leader gold heart crusher gold pogo gold lightning reflexes are some of the important gold badges so all in all guys I would say this Ross Strickland card right here is a must Evolve card if you guys have the time and you guys do need yourself a point guard furthermore taking a look at the price of this Ross Strickland on the auction block the pink diamond version is going for around 15,000 MT and the fully evolved maxed out version Galaxy Opal is going for around 50,000 MT so if you love you guys are looking to profit off this card you will, be, you will be making yourself a decent amount of profit grinding and evolving this card moving along right here to the shooting guard position the best shooting guard that I feel like is worth the evolution grind at this stage in my team is Gerald Green. This Gerald Green card right here first starts off with a pink diamond and he's a one-star evolution card that turns into a Galaxy Opal. The evolution requirements right here for Gerald Green are not a lot at all. Make 250 dunks, get 40 steals, and make 103 pointers. Honestly guys, that right there is pretty easy. I'll probably say that this right here will take you around four to six hours around that range to 
complete. When it comes to getting the dunks, I would say run that quick through STS play over and over and over again. When it comes to the steals, I would just simply say bait the passing lane. Steals more so come over time. There isn't really like a way you can get a steal every single play. You just have to simply bait passing lanes and hopefully get one like that. And make 100 three-pointers right here, guys. You can borderline make 100 three-pointers in one game of domination. I'm not going to lie. Two-game domination will get you guys most definitely 100 three-pointers. Now, take a look right here at the attribute upgrades for Gerald Green. He does get boosted up a ton. The mid-range turns into a 92. Three-point turns into a 95. Interior defense gets up a ton to an 89. And the Premier D right here turns into an, a 96. Lateral clearance turns into a 97. Block gets boosted up to an 88. Steal to a 94. Deconsistency de to a 95. Strength to an 84. And when it comes to the bass count right here, he does get upgraded a ton when it comes to defensive ones. He does get upgraded when it comes to the Hall of Fame badges. He does get plus nine in a Hall of Fame badge count, and also plus four when it comes to the gold badge count. Right now on the auction block, this Joe Green card right here, the Pink Diamond version, is going for around 20-ish thousand MT, and the fully maxed out Gallus Liberal version right here of him looks to be going for around 80,000 MT, so for those of you guys who have the time and want to make some profit off this card, you'll be making yourself around 50-ish, 60-ish thousand MT getting profit off this Joe Green card. Personally, I would not profit off this card right here. If I was evolving him, I would keep him on my team because this dude right here is a six foot seven shooting guard with very, very glitchy animations and also a very, very glitchy body frame. Joe Green every single year, I'm sure a lot of you guys know in 2K, is a very cheesy and super duper overpowered card. This year as well, guys, is very overpowered. Come in the form of a Galaxy guy, that Galaxy will be insane. So, so, so for those of you guys who have the time to get him, I would say this dude right here is a must grind evo card in my team out of pretty much every single card i mentioned in this video i would say number one evo card to grind would be this drill green card in my opinion moving on right here to the small four position the best small four that i feel like is worth evolving right now in my team is dean wade this dean wade card right here is an amethyst card and he's a one star amethyst card in which he turns into a pink diamond he jumps up two tiers with one star on him the EVO requirements right here for this card are pretty tough, guys. You have to make 50 dunks, make 103 pointers, block 50 shots, and get 50 steals. This right here, I feel like, will probably take you around 7-ish hours. With that being said, for those of you guys who are on a really, really tight budget squad, like you're rocking out with Amethyst and Diamond cards, I would say that this card right here is probably the best card you can evolve for your team. But for those of you guys who already have yourself Pink Diamonds and so on and so forth, Pink Diamonds and higher, I would say this card right here is honestly not worth the grind. But take a look right here at the, at the upgrade that you do get for evolving him. Mid range turns into a 92, Premier D turns into a 93, Lateral Quitter turns into a 93 as well. Speed turns into a 93, Speed of Ball turns into a 90, Strength to, 90, to an 88. Badge count wise for him, he does get upgraded with a ton of badges. When it comes to Hall of Fame badge count right here, he does get a grand total of, I think, 13? Plus, plus 13 Hall of Fame badge count. When it comes to the gold badge right here, I think he also gets around 13 as well. Let me do my math really quickly for these gold badges. He does come with a grand total of plus 13 as well, guys. 14, plus 14 for the gold badges. So essentially, this card right here does come with an upgrade of plus 27 badges in total for evolving him to a pink diamond. Furthermore, when it comes to this card right here, you guys already know how overpowered the Amethyst version is of him. He has like some of the cheesiest animations in the game. And once he's fully evolved, guys, I feel like he would definitely be an insane card for your team. Like I said, for those of you guys who are on an extremely tight budget. Now take a look right here at the price range for him. The Amethyst card looks to be going for around 5-ish thousand MT. Now unfortunately right now, there are no pink diamonds on the auction block. So I don't know honestly how much the pink diamond version of him is going for. Moving along right here to the power forward position, the best power forward I feel like is worth evolving is Galaxy Opal Bull Bull. This Galaxy Opal Bull Bull card right here is already Galaxy Opal, so he's not moving up anything in tiers once you fully evolve him. And when it comes to the evolution requirements for him, honestly, 750 assists and attempt 23 pointers is actually very, very easy. It may not seem easy, it might seem a little bit hard and lengthy, guys, but honestly, all you have to do is attempt 203 pointers. So you can just keep up jacking up bricks and that will count as an attempt for a three-pointer. When it comes to the assist right here, you can just simply run a quick 2STS play over and over and over again to get yourself the assist with this bowl bowl card. So I pro will probably say it will take you around four to five-ish hours in total, maybe around six hours to fully evolve the bowl bowl into 
the fully evolved version of him. Now taking a look at the upgrades right here for Bo Bo, he comes with a lot of playmaking upgrades and that right there guys is what I mainly feel like is worth it for him. Driver layup turns into a 92, ball handle turns into a 98, pass accuracy turns into an 85, speed to an 86, speed of ball to an 84. And when it comes to bash count right here, he does come with a lot of gold playmaking badges. He does come with plus 10 badges in total, plus 2 Hall of Fame badges, which are downhill and quick first step to Hall of Fame, and plus 8 gold badges. 8 gold badges, like I said, are playmaking ones. Gold unpluckable, gold tight handles, gold stop and go, gold space crater, handles for days, needle threader, dimer, and ankle breaker. This dude right here already before he's fully evolved can speed boost and he's a speed boost enemy god. I do not even know what you call him once he's fully maxed out and evolved. When it comes to the profit of this bull bull card, you do get around 50-ish thousand MT for fully evolving him. Now I'm not gonna lie guys, when it comes to this bull bull card, I would say that he's mainly worth evolving if you have yourself a fully maxed out Galaxy Opal squad. Like Dean Wade, like, like I mentioned, is great for budget ballers. This bull bull card right here is great for players who have Pink Diamond and Opal squad. This card right here guys, I would say is a must cop slash must evolve card for those of you guys who have God Squads. Moving along right here to the center position, the best center that I feel like is worth the grind is Alonzo Morning. This Alonzo Morning right here first starts off with a Pink Diamond and he's a one star, boom, turns into a Galaxy Opal off his Pink Diamond form once he's fully evolved. And I'm not gonna lie guys, when it comes to this card and the evolution requirements, they are pretty tough and it will take you a good amount of time. As I can see right here, the evolution requirements for this card to evolve him are scoring 1,000 points, grabbing 500 rebounds, Blocking a total of 100 shots and playing 40 games. Playing 40 games will be easy. Scoring 1,000 points will be pretty easy as well. The rebounding right here, guys, and the blocking shots are going to be the toughest things. As I mentioned earlier, rebound, steals, and blocks are the toughest. And this man right here, guys, 100 for blocks and 500 for rebounds. That right there is going to take a pretty good amount of time. I will probably say this card right here is going to take you around 9-ish. 8 to 9 inch hours to complete in total, maybe 10 inch hours, maybe a little more than that, around that range. But once he's fully evolved, guys, he low key probably becomes like the biggest jump of evolution in terms of, in terms of how good he performs on the court. Now, as we take a look at the upgrades for him, you guys will kind of be seeing what I'm saying when it comes to how good he turns into. Driving layup, boom, turns into a 92. Mid range turns into a 95. Fully maxed out, 3.293. Ball handle turns into an 83. With a shoe boost, you can boost that up to an 86 and make him speed boost once he's fully maxed out and evolved. Pass accuracy turns into a 79. Offense rebound to a 98. Premier defense to a 90. A lot of quitters to a 90 as well. Path perception to a 95. Steal to a 92. Defensive consistency and help IQ to a 98. Speed to a 90. Speed with ball to an 84. Strength to a 98. And acceleration to a 90. Now, when it comes to the bash count right here, he gets up a ton as well when it comes to the badges. When it comes to Hall of Fame badges right here, he does get a grand total of plus 18 Hall of Fame badges. And for the gold badges, 2K adds him on 6 gold badges. And one of them, guys, is his gold ranger center that he did not have prior. And when it comes to Hall of Fame badges, he does get a lot of Hall of Fame important ones like Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Hot Zone, Hall of Fame Dream Machine, Hall of Fame Flexible, Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, Hall of Fame Defensive Badges as well, guys. All in all, this dude right here, when you combine the badge count, plus 24 badges, Plus, to actually get upgraded, like I mentioned, he probably has like the biggest growth of Evo from Pink Diamond to a Galaxy Opal in terms, of the, in terms of the upgrades. Now, finally, taking a look at how much this card right here is going for on the auction block, his Pink Diamond form is going for right here 10,000 MT. Now, we scroll over right here, we're going to find the Galaxy Opal version eventually somewhere on the auction block, and boom, here he is right here, guys. The Galaxy Opal version looks to be going for around 70 ish thousand MT. So, you'll be making around 50 to 60 ish thousand MT evolving this Alonzo Morning. Okay, so that right there now guys gonna wrap it up for this video in this video I did tell you guys in my opinion the best cards that are worth evolving for every single position In case you guys didn't miss out on anybody who I did mention off I will show you guys right here a screenshot from my phone of every single card who I mentioned off at every single position So that right there now guys pretty much going to complete this video the next evolution video probably won't come out until 2 get give us another Evo Update in the game and I'm pretty sure guys we're going to be getting at least one more Evo update before NBA 2K21 does come out. So if this video has helped you, make sure you guys go ahead and considering that sub subscribe button. And I mentioned we're less than 200 subscribers away from hitting that 90k goal. And also drop dropping a like would be greatly appreciated as well. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. And as usual, as always, thanks for watching and it's YBC that I'm out. Peace.